Hey, what's going on here? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's talk. Hello guys and girls, my name is Michael. I'm from the tech for All YouTube channel. And I do a lot of tech reviews and that's why I've been invited to be hosting today's mystery box unboxing. It's my first time ever, so forgive me for being a little nervous. And uh, here's what we're gonna do today. That's a box with a new Xiaomi product. Well, we know there's at least something on the inside. Our task is to find out what, and I've been told that there's gonna be a task accompanying it, so shall we? <laughs> now, I, I see it already. Not gonna say, we're just gonna show it to you. That's the brand new Mi 10 Pro, the 5G edition, which is a 2020 flagship, probably one of the best phones of the year. And our task would be actually, yeah, I've been told there's a task, so there's a task. Ah, a task mystery box. Hey, tech for all. Hello. Hope you like the product in our latest mystery box. Well, I don't know if it's in one piece, so we better check that out. It looks and feels amazing. Doesn't have a stereo jack though. Okay, back to this. I uh, hope you like the product in our latest mystery box. We've prepared a challenge for you. Tell us what you loved most while experiencing this product's cameras. Enjoy. Well, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's get started. All right, the task assignment is clear. We're supposed to enjoy the camera and do a lot of photos and do a lot of videos. And I'm already testing the main camera of the Mi 10 Pro and actually plan to put it in the most challenging environments. Well, daylight is pretty simple for such a good camera. So how about trying it with really challenging low light environments? And of course, I'm going to test both the video and the photo qualities. And uh, the current setup is quite remarkable. Right now I'm recording with the main camera in 4K resolution with optical image stabilization. And actually you're hearing the microphone quality, the embedded Mi 10 Pro microphone quality, which is simply remarkable. Now, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to test the four lens setup because we have this ultra wide lens. Then we have um, a lens which, which zooms in twice, another which has a five times zoom also with optical image stabilization. And of course the main camera, which is, I think it's pretty good. Now, the biggest advantage of recording in 4K, just like what I'm doing at the moment, is that uh, in post-production, if your final version of the video is going to be in full HD, you can zoom in twice without any quality degradation and if you record in 8K that's going to give you the ability to zoom in four times and then you can output a full HD video and that's gonna be lossless basically. So that's pretty dope and it's really funny because now instead of bringing a big suitcase with a DSLR or mirrorless camera and a bunch of lenses you can just pick up the Mi 10 Pro and enjoy shooting. Here are the specs of the cameras in a nutshell. On the back, four of them. The 108 megapixel main sensor, which is used for most of the tasks, optical image stabilization and 82 degrees field of view, which makes footage quite cinematic. We have a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera to be used when the normal one cannot fit all the objects that you need to shoot. And there are two telephoto cameras, 12 megapixel, which supports two times optical zoom, and the 8 megapixel telephoto camera with hybrid zoom up to 10 times, also equipped with optical image stabilization. The selfie camera on the front is also remarkable. In display design, 20 megapixel, a number of awesome selfie features, and slow motion up to 120 frames per second. All that is being controlled from the MIUI camera app and it does everything in a way both professionals and beginners will be happy about. And now we have to make a quick tour inside the app. The default is the photo mode 
and let me show you how intuitive it all works. Because the screen is so big and so good, you got access to each one of the photo settings. The 0.6 mode is the wide-angle camera, then you have the normal one, the 2 times zoom camera, and then the one with 5 times zoom. I need to underline that here we talk about lossless zoom, because we use the telephoto lenses which produce some marvelous shots. If you slide up and down, you switch to the hybrid zoom up to 10 times, which will invoke software and optical zoom. With the Mi 10 Pro and its top-end hardware, the photos are simply great and even with dynamic objects, you're gonna be able to get crisp and well-focused photos. While we're still in the photo mode, there are a few more options. Controls for the flash, HDR mode, the AI mode, it does automatic scene recognition and machine learning based enhancements. And once you point your camera in the right direction, the artificial intelligence takes over and automatically tweaks the settings behind the scenes for that killer shot you want to take. And the filters you can apply from creative color corrections and beautiful color grading to improving the look and aesthetics of the body, legs or shoulders of people you're getting photos of. And that all is for the photo modes. If you go through the rest of the settings, it's even more to utilize, like different framing options, tilt shifting, Google Lens and even a dog scanner. The 108 megapixel mode is quite similar, with less correction possibilities, but capturing the image with highest possible resolution and you can have a very detailed photo. The portrait mode has always been great on MIUI devices and here, supported by the phenomenal hardware, portraits are… Just look at these samples. You can shoot people and you can shoot objects and some of these photos can compete with shots taken by DSLRs with huge lenses. Taking now a look at some night mode photos, with these large aperture cameras, this is where the Mi 10 Pro shines. It captures so much light and the photos have such a great amount of details that I still can't believe I'm doing this with a phone. Color accuracy is superb, photos are well exposed, great dynamic range, it ticks all the boxes for a stellar camera and well deserves its top spot in the DxOMAR camera chart. Xiaomi have of course thought about the professionals. If you have good understanding about how photography works and prefer to manually set the values of shutter speed, ISO control, exposure or white balance, it's totally doable. Let's discuss now the three video modes. Gonna start with the slow motion. It is better than ever, up to 960 frames per second, which is more than 30 times slower than the regular speed of an occurrence. I guess it is fun to use it for some sort of clips. And the other two modes, the 120 frames per second and 240 are more natural. The short video mode is rather a new feature, targeting mostly social media, perfect for your Instagram or Facebook story timelines. And the video mode, it had a lot more to offer. You may try the color focus feature or even count on 8K shooting, which we already mentioned at the start. Combined with the gimbal, you can beat most of 2020's DSLRs in that area. There's a new mode called Super Stabilization. You know, that's gimbal-like performance and a few automatic vlog templates, which you can open with the V icon. And all you have to do is to follow the instructions. Took me only a few seconds to do that. Wrapping up with some thoughts about the front camera, and you're already seeing some footage from it. Uh, by the way, it's on a gimbal at the moment, so that it's not too shaky when I'm walking here. Uh, in terms of photos, things you can do, well, that's a selfie camera. So you've got a lot of beautification options, like you make your eyes bigger, or your chin thinner, or, you know, whatever you want to mask, you can do it, whatever you want to stress on, so that the others pay more attention to it. You can do that as well. In terms of video, it records up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. And I have a conclusion, like if I go back to this and take a look and say what I loved most while experiencing this product's cameras, there are two things I want to highlight here. Uh, the first thing, the quality of low light photos. You know, these night photos that I've taken are the best low-light photos I've ever seen from a smartphone. And I probably also enjoyed really a lot the hybrid zoom because it's pretty much lossless. Uh, the second thing I want to highlight is the video quality in 4K with uh, the image stabilization. It's remarkable and from the perspective of someone who is doing a lot of videos, I'm definitely going to use that a lot. And generally, in my opinion, the Mi 
10 Pro is the smartphone with the best camera set the time I'm making this video. End of story. Now, you can tell us which were your favorite features and make sure to comment below and tell us what you like the most from this video and uh, if there are any other tests you want me to make, of course, I'll make sure to make a detailed comparison and review video of the Mi 10 Pro on my channel, Tech Pro, so check for some information below. It's been a great pleasure, big thanks to Xiaomi for picking me to host the Mystery Box event. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon, bye!